What is going on guys, Smash Bros 4239 here back with another video and in today's video I'm going to be teaching you how to remap your keys on your keyboard. Now some of you may have this thing on your keyboard where there are multiple functions for one key. For example, my escape key I have three options, escape, this twirly thing and this op opposite looking apostrophe. I only want to use the escape key when I'm like gaming and stuff so I can't use it, I have to hold function then press escape then it'll work. Which is obviously really annoying. And also if I have to use escape for anything else like editing or doing schoolwork or just other things then it's going to be really annoying since again I have to use function then escape. In today's video I'll be teaching you two methods on how you can remap your keyboard. Both of them work really well. I personally use the second one but the first one is also really good. And yeah there's nothing else really to talk about. It's been a while since I uploaded. Um, a lot's been going on, a lot will happen soon, but I'm trying to get back into it. So yeah, let's get on with the video. So the first thing you want to do is head to the link in the description and it will take you to this GitHub page. What this is, is a software called Sharp Keys. Now, some of you may have um, wireless keyboards or just wide keyboards that have software, like a gaming keyboard. I have a gaming keyboard, but it's not, the, it's not like a well-known brand. It's just like a $50 one from eBay doesn't have any software in it so you cannot like change your keys on it which is why we're using external software here if you have software then obviously use that there's no need to watch this video but again if it's just some other keyboard or office keyboard that doesn't have software this is one of the software we'll use in today's video this github page itself is off is also really good it tells you the description the main purpose how to install it properly um, and it has uh, frequently asked questions and answers so if you have any questions that might be here please use this I haven't gone through everything yet but it seems really good so again any questions please use this first um, but yeah we'll get into downloading it so once you're here scroll down until you see releases on the right here you should already come up with like the latest release you know, it's been a while since I did anything three years so yeah this should be the latest one so we'll just click on that once you click on it it will give you assets down here now what you can do is download the MSI so you can obviously download it instantly using the installer or download it as a zip and extract it through there. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to download the MSI. It's downloading right here. Once it's done, open it up and it'll take you to the downloading page. This is how you'll set it up. So next, choose our location and next, and next and it'll be downloading. Give it a few seconds or maybe a few minutes depending on how well this goes. It will tell you um, it's an unknown publisher, it's okay, just press yes. And then yeah, it's been successfully installed. Close and then um, open it up by searching it up here. Yep, search for it and press OK. Press yes. It will open up with a welcome page. It will tell you everything obviously. It will tell that you're using at your own risk. So yeah, keep that in mind. Press OK. And here we have the main software. This is pretty easy to use. What we first need to do is uh, click add here and then choose an input key and turn it into an output key on the right. Um, if, this is obviously too much to read and go through so you can just type the key on your keyboard uh, manually and then it will automatically pick it up. So for example, I, I can press a key spacebar. Then I press OK and it will lead me to the spacebar and then I can change it to whatever I want. So let me fix my escape key. So if I press escape, see it turns up with that. I don't know what the heck that is. Let's get rid of that. And I'll change it into, I have to hold function escape. Yeah, that will be my key. So this symbol to escape. Once you uh, inputted your input on the left and output on the right, click OK. Once you've done that, click right to registry. And then it'll tell you you're going to have to restart the computer for it to take effect. I'm not going to do this, I use a second software, so yeah, this is basically how you do it for this software. Alright, this next um, software is actually an app on your um, Microsoft Store. What you want to do is search up Power Toys. And then there will be Microsoft Power, uh, Power Toys. This is the one you want to download, so once that's uh, downloaded, open it up. Once you've opened it up, it might give you a welcome page or whatever, but it should mainly look like this. What you want to do is uh, m uh, make it full screen. You might have already have some modules here. I disabled some of them. I don't know what these are, so I'm just going to keep them. 
but basically you want to go on the left side go to input output open that uh, open that drop down and click on keyboard manager now here it will tell you to remap a key over here if this is not on turn this on then it will give you the option to remap a key I'll show you how to do it you open this up in a new window click add key mapping it will tell you to select a key so from here click on select and then press press wherever on the keyboard for example I press a space and I can change it let's say I want to change it to P once that's done you click on OK and then yeah that'll be done I'm just going to cancel out of that so your keyboard remapping things should be here as you can see I got this this to that and that to that once that's done you can just close out of it it will run in the background here as you can see anytime you shut down and open the computer it's going to automatically start up which is one thing about this application but it's still pretty good I this uh, never failed on me and I still use it to this day and I'm going to keep it like this so yeah guys that's two ways on how you can remap keys on your keyboard if something goes wrong on your keyboard or you just have multiple keys and you don't want to do something like me where you have to hold function and whatever 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 so yeah that's it i hope you found this video helpful if you did leave a like subscribe if you're new comment down below any questions queries concerns or just future tutorial tip uh future tutorials and then yeah i'll try and do my best to create them other than that it's me and i'm out